welcome to summer and welcome to Doses of Destruction with Captain Starlight. I'm Captain Starlight. Before we get started on today's craft activity, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to slip, slop, slap. Do you know what I love in summer? Watermelons and facts. Did you know that the world's biggest ever watermelon weighed 159 kilograms? That's almost as heavy as the Eiffel Tower. Speaking of which, during summer, the Eiffel Tower grows by 15 centimetres. Also, the icy pole was first invented by accident in 1905 by an 11 year old boy. Great job. Now it wouldn't be an Australian summer unless we did something cool and crafty with water. So today's activity is crystallised art. Here's what you'll need. Paper. Watercolour paper is better, but don't worry too much. Water in a spray bottle, a bath bomb, and a fork. Got it? Great, let's get started. Step one, put water in your empty spray bottle and spray the paper with water. What a great idea. Step two, use a fork to scratch the bath bomb over the wet paper so that the coloured dust falls onto it. Scratch the bomb over different sections of the paper so it's on some of the wetter parts and some of the edges. Respray some of the dry dust on top. Leave some sections unsprayed and spray extra on others for more texture. I like to colour in using textures. Sometimes crayons. Step three, let it dry flat overnight to see the crystals form. I'll see you in 24 hours. 24 hours later. And here's your artwork. Wow, you did a really good job. Try this, add other colours. You could use some chalk or even some old eyeshadow. Just make sure you ask first if it isn't yours. Nana Starlight, too easy? Take your paper outside, hang it on the line and use a water gun as your sprayer. This will make cool patterns. You could even spin it around and try hitting it as it moves. Whoa. I can't wait to see what you've done. This has been Doses of Distraction. I've been Captain Starlight and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Has anyone seen my watermelon? Oh.